If you don't know, my name is Melissa. You can call me Lessa, whatever you like. And I do have a Depop shop. My Depop is at O underscore it's Lessa. I do sell a lot of Y2K streetwear, vintage, name brand, stuff like that. I will have it in the description below. I'm gonna show you guys today an updated hair care routine. I have changed my products. I know I used to use that Cantu. I love that Cantu before, but it was a little heavy for me and I couldn't really use it all the time too, too much, but it, it did work. It did work and I loved it and I still love it, but I did find something else that I love even more. The smell is, I love it even more. It's more buttery. You can still find it at drugstores and yeah, I'm gonna show you guys. This is the shampoo I use. It is by Not Your Mother's Naturals Matcha Green Tea and Wild Apple Blossom. I love this. This smells so good and it feels so good on the scalp. So I really, really like this. No sulfates, no silicones, no parabens, no dyes, glutens, or phthalates. So yeah. <laughs> And then I use this conditioner. This is my favorite conditioner. I have bought like so many of these. Um, it's the Maui Moisture Curl Quench Coconut Oil Conditioner for thick curly hair. So I really, really like this because it really gives good slip. And I also use a white tooth comb in the shower to get rid of the tangles and stuff like that. So that is the next item that I use. I'm gonna re-wet my hair real quick. So while my hair is wet, I like to part my hair. So I do part it on the side. And the first thing that I use is a leave-in conditioner. I love this leave-in conditioner. This is the best leave-in conditioner ever. It is Miss Jessie's leave-in condish. I love this stuff, I'm running out. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this. You don't really need that much. You really need like that much for one side. And this one, I put all the way to the top. And my hair is pretty long. Um, for those wondering, I do get haircuts only when I need like long layers. I always go in and ask for long layers and then they all grow out to one length. So I need to get more layers again because pretty much my hair has grown out. And as my hair grows out, I trim it myself at home. I just cut the ends. I don't do any layers or anything like that, so. Another thing I like about this, I love so much, is that it gives you so much slip and it's so good. It smells so good too. And it makes your hair really, really soft and moisturized and not greasy or anything like that. So I really, really like that. The next thing I use, this is the game changer right here. Oops. <laughs> This is a game changer right here. I replaced Cantu with this. I love this so, 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 so much. This is Aunt Jackie's Curl La La Defining Curl Custard. It smells so good. If I can open it, my hands are slippery from that leave-in conditioner, but look, I just bought a new one. I just ran out and I bought like maybe five of these already and they're like six or seven dollars at Walmart for a whole tub. And I have a lot of hair and it lasts me so long. So I'm gonna get I usually just run my fingers through and I get a lot. You can put as much as you want, really, because it doesn't weigh your hair down. Just rake it through. Some more. Now I go back here in this section. And grab some more. I know there's hair all over my hands, but <laughs> just keep raking it in your hair. Your hair will be moisturized, soft, not crunchy. It will have definition. And my hair is like wavy. It kind of looks like mermaid waves in a way. Um, curly, wavy, whatever you want to call it. And then sometimes I put just a little bit more just in the back section to really get in there you want to have some hold so i use the eco styling gel this gel is bomb i've used the black one which is the coconut oil one i've used this one the argan oil one and i think that's it i think i've used the black black castor oil one. Oh yeah the brown one is coconut oil the black one's black castor oil and this one is argan oil Honestly, 
I would say they do, they are low-key different because one of them has like less hold than the other. I did like the castor oil one, but I really like the argan oil one because it has a little bit more hold for me. Maybe it's just in my head. I don't know, but I like it. So what I do is I kind of just do the prayer hand um, all over the hair and just scrunch. And to not have too much frizzy hair on top, I get a little bit of gel and just go over my part. So I usually let it air dry. You can diffuse it to give you more definition, but I usually never do. So I always just let it air dry. I'll probably show you guys later how it looks. And as far as like second day, third day hair, I usually just re-wet my hair. I would do some of this on second day. If my hair is feeling a little dry or something, I will use a little bit more of this, but just on the ends. And then always finish off with just a little bit of gel just to give you some hold. And then later in the day, you just shake it out just to like loosen the waves and make them a little bit more poofy, you know what I mean? And then third day, I don't use this because this is really moisturizing. I usually just use this and maybe a little bit of gel but usually just this what i like about this is that it doesn't really build up and it doesn't make your hair heavy or anything like that and it smells so good and it's pretty good price to get this whole jug i love it so get your hands on this they need to sponsor me these products need to sponsor me because i'm not gonna change them after this <laughs> also really quickly when you're in the car don't sit on your hair put your hair to the side and then you can sit back or just kind of like drive forward. Just don't lay on your hair. That will cause frizz while it's drying. And also don't put the seatbelt over your hair. So yeah, <laughs> just a quick so, tip. I just wanted to show y'all real quick. This is how my hair turned out. So this is it while it's dry. Mermaid curls, mermaid waves, whatever you want to call it. Still soft, movable. Um, you can shake it out at the roots a little bit if you want. When you shake it out, shake from underneath. Don't shake on top because you don't want to make frizz on top. But a little frizz underneath will make it a little bit more voluminous. And yeah, that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that like button if you liked it. And make sure to subscribe because I do upload every Tuesdays and Thursdays. So you don't want to miss out. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.